What's going on guys and welcome back to the most spectacular read-throughs of all times. I am the big cliche. I am big uh, Papa Pump without the pump. I am the rock that is never hard. King Kong got a lot on me. I am T b r terabyte reacts and i would just like to say you are welcome welcome back guys to another edition of my rendition of walkthroughs here we have berserk volume 12 today but before we jump into that we're gonna do a quick recap of volume 11 i'm gonna start switching things up a little bit trying to do a little bit of conversation kind of recap of the volume that we did in the last read through and then we move on to the new um task which is volume 12 so let's switch over here for a second um here let's do just let's do a quick run through of volume 11 and then we'll move on to volume 12 okay so they released the Black Dog Knights, or uh, whatever they call them, Black Dog Knights. Um, there were so many different things that they call these guys. It's ridiculous. The the Black Hounds, Black Dogs from Hell. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff they call them, okay, before they even met up. When he hit that guy on top of the um, roof, um how he met the king and stuff like that um he was killing his his own guys um and at first you know what i'm saying maybe he's from this i was saying that you know maybe he's related to nosferatu because they kind of look alike but you know because even i think even guts himself had said that he looks a lot like he reminds him of nosferatu maybe it's just the energy could have just been the energy and not necessarily how he looked because I I don't remember I don't think Nesferatu looked like a dog per se. He did show up in this chapter actually um in this volume. So we just running around. Yeah, they call them devil dogs too. So it was it was just a lot of names that they call these guys, man. You know what I'm saying? The crew the because they let loose man they no rules is no, no you know what i'm saying no hole barred yeah you know i'm saying this dude right so the black dog knights man they they met up with all right so this this is nosferatu right see nosferatu has the same kind of snout and everything but you know what i'm saying he just looks a lot more he, he looks a lot more godly i should say godly as i i would say he doesn't look like a like a puny you know what i mean like how this guy is small but he grew pretty big throughout you know what i'm saying when he got serious you know he transformed and they had to deal with him right so you know um of course guts had to he had to pull out the stops to go up against this guy. They came out triumphant, but at the same time, it was it was very devastating because they were watching guts going up against this guy. They couldn't even follow the the, the swings of the sword because it was so fast. Him catching the sword in his mouth. I mean, it, it was just it was a great fight to see. This guy was punching horses. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> the man punched the horse in the face, man. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the stuff you see in this in this manga, bro. It is it, it, it's kind of like you you you're watching a TV show and shit happens. And you're like, why? <laughs> it's kind of like in game of, in Game of Thrones. I think it was season one when the mountain freaking cuts the 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 head off the horse and you're like bruh <laughs> you know what i mean you know it's just unbelievable stuff that that happens that really do make you think you know so his whole thing was that he was after griffith because 
um, but not for the reasons that we might have thought also because he wanted to to get to to Griffith because he has he, he, um, he's supposed to have the behelet and he was like can I kill him because he doesn't have it because right now he doesn't have it so Nosferatu came in and, and, and was like hey the behelet is going to find its way back to you and, as, and, and and the thing about it is that we still don't have a full understanding of what's really going on but we're we're kind of getting to the point where we're finding out about you know what i mean like we're we're, we're finding out about how important this behelet is and how it's going to transition griffith into becoming um the leader of the godhead because i think nasferatu knows about it i don't know i don't i i still can't i can't put nasferatu into a a category of bad or good yet because i really do not know if he's bad or good you get what i'm saying i don't know because i could say he's a bad guy but at the same time he's protecting the 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 main protagonist of the story i don't know if it's for griffith's sake or for guts sake i i don't know we know where where griffith and guts ends up in the future but we actually don't really understand if he's protecting them or not so if he's which one of them he's really protecting or he just wants to see the prophecy fulfilled so this got a bit scary you know what i'm saying um we almost had some tentacle action <laughs> going on with between casca and you know what I'm saying? And this dude and this dude here. I don't even remember his name. I think Nasferatu came in and called him by his name. Um, if I'm not mistaken. But I don't remember his name exactly. Um You know. So this this was just some crazy, crazy stuff that was going on here between Casca and this dude. And then, you know, <laughs> <laughs> not my not my playstation symbols <laughs> man like not my playstation symbols but i know you did not cut off my playstation symbols okay right so it's cool to see him do that um griffith is um so went in I don't I don't remember if you guys remember that please let me know because I don't remember if we learned his name or not because I do think that I know Nesferatu came in but I don't remember if he called him by name so we're gonna we're gonna find out as we're scrolling down here watching Mortal Kombat <laughs> you know and the gruesome battle that that took place between guts and guts guts has been going up against these guys forever man and that's why i have to say like the experience that he has um and the way he swings his sword that's why he's not afraid of these dudes you know from the um the flash forward that we got at the beginning of the story right man is just killing his people man look at that just slapping them he don't give a damn because he, he he a demon out here you know what i mean so guts finally gets him in the neck right there at this point i thought he was done i thought he was done but he still kept trucking still kept trucking man he, he's he was a monster you know what i'm saying he was a monster so finally he, he he went down but he wasn't down he wasn't really down casca hugging um guts then we got to see charlotte again back in the castle worry worrying about griffith you know you know and then nasferatu shows up right i think this was somebody's yeah she's charlotte saw nosferatu outside of the castle um right because he was heading he was heading over to um 
to here where they were settled um here we have um guts um put in the the armor onto griffith um while they left but this dude was not dead they went to check the the army showed up he got back up and just started and killed everyone and then started going after them again right right caught up to them took out and then he i think he grabbed griffith griffith is helpless right and then i think this is where nesferatu came in but as i said i don't remember them calling him by name so he said he's looking at griffith telling him to summon the great ones because i guess he wants to be healed right so it's the crimson behelot i wonder if there's different types of behelot too because he specifically he specifically talked about the crimson specifically said the crimson behelot so i'm wondering if there's different types of behelot out there too there's probably more than one too i think there is more than one because i think the guy um i don't know maybe it is the same one because there was another guy that had one back in the in in the flash forward that we had where the, the manga started, right? Um, so I'm wondering if he had one, and I, there's got to be different types because I I believe that it it could have been the same one. Who knows? And that's the thing too. Like we don't know how many is out there. So it could have been the same one because at that point that we were at when we were reading that. Griffith was already with the God hand. So who knows? He might have given it to somebody else, you know, so they can summon them. Our guardian angels. Okay. The four members of the God hand, right? But he doesn't have it. Precious store was broken a long time ago. And look at this. He, he stripped Griffith and you know what I'm saying? Like it was just. This is just wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, he'll never be the same again. You know? Guts is getting pissed off. And then here comes Nosferatu. Landed behind him. The immortal once again. Right? So he lands behind him, of course. right and i'm trying to see if he said his name or not they all recognize him because they know who he is so, um that's for Atuzad. i think you're doing i'm trying to see i'm trying to remember his name so it's like and they kept referring to griffith as the fifth one too so that uh, that's right if i rip my free will all right I don't know. So, I'm trying to see if he ever said his name, but he, he never did. I don't remember. I don't know. I think, I, I remember. If you guys can remember his name, I mean, he, and, you know. Okay, so, he wanted to be saved, but he didn't save him. Um... And the la <laughs> and in the last um the last read through I did I kept calling Corcus Kamuska for some strange reason I kept saying that <laughs> and I don't know I have no idea why I mean Kamuska is one of my is, is one of my favorite um people or subscribers that I have 
so maybe that's the that's the um maybe that's the reason and it just got stuck in my head because i'm always looking out for the, um that person's comments and and stuff on patreon and on the youtube channel so it's kind of like got stuck in my head but any but anyways it's corcus it's not kamuska okay <laughs> but anyways um yeah so that's that and that's that okay so Nesferatu shows up, saves Griffith because this dummy was trying to kill him. And I mean, this this is just pitiful. You know what I'm saying? This is just pitiful. You know, that this is how... It, it, it was an old man. You know what I'm saying? Was a, He lived for too long and then when they lose their power and lose that, that you know what I'm saying? Like... People sell their soul for anything, man. But anyways, we gonna jump into the next one here, volume 12. And let's get on with the new stuff, okay? So we got 10 more chapters to go. So I hope you guys don't mind me doing that, doing a refresher of things. I hope you guys don't mind. Um... I know some of you might be saying, you know, I should just jump into the new stuff, but I want I want to start doing the recap because it will help to refresh my memory too, due to the fact that, due to the fact that I might be coming in two weeks off or even a week off, it doesn't really matter. I might be forgetting certain intricate details about it you know that helps to kind of refresh me going into the next volume so i hope you guys don't mind so let me know if you like the recap if you don't like it i don't mind you know what i'm saying just let me know and we'll be cool okay so we're cream of the wind okay so midland border region so Back with the band of the hawk again, the revised version. <laughs> All sitting around, pipping, pipping is pimping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And guts, of course. You know what I'm saying? Hey, was that serious? Okay, so we got Griffith. I think this is Griffith laying down here. Of course, see the the um the helmet. It was bull, wasn't it? Was that monkey monster was what what that monkey monster was saying? Of course, Corcus always asking questions. Screw this. Fine, I'll ask him myself. Forget it. Griffith's not able to answer you. Hey, that's a joke, right? Like his throat's just rough from living in prison. His throat's just rough from... Did you see when they, when the dude held him up? Were you not there, Corcus? And see that? It was like... Everybody's saying, what the hell, it seems. A lot of arguing going on. Weren't we gonna start again here, huh? After Griffith came back, weren't we gonna start over? All of a sudden, we were framed as outlaws, running around in the woods for a year like bugs. More than half of us been killed, but still, still as long as Griffith came back to us after believing that. Now this. And he strikes his sword against a rock, breaking it. And the tip of the sword bounces beside Guts is like, hey, hey, didn't I call it? I knew it. I knew it. I knew something like this would happen. So now, now. It's, this is, everyone knew how that ended, but not a man could bring himself to say it. Band of the Hawk is not over. They could still go on. It's like only the wind announced the end of the fight. What do we do? From here on, all of us, what do we do? It's, it's not like the band of the Hawks been wiped out. We have you, Commander Koska. Griffith made the band of the Hawk. Everyone should realize that. If you are still here, all the more. But to that end, 
The one who's given most this year is Casca. Don't ask even more of her, Judo. But in that case, we... And she walks away saying, give me some time. There's still time until we join up with the other unit. Let me think about this until then. Hey. So Guts calls out to Casca. Hey, wait up. What do you plan to do once you're done thinking? Don't tell me you. What were you about to tell them back there, eh? To finish the battles that you started? So Casca says to him, pretty strong, aren't you? Since you started a battle, I guess it's not something you can give up on. But you can say such things to Griffith the way he is now. Everyone's weak, and so they rely on dreams and other people. I wonder what you can do for someone who's lost what they rely on. I can't even begin to even answer that question because when you lose something that you rely on, you know, and that's the reason why most people has developed the philosophy in life to, you know, to, um, to move forward and leave that stuff behind because you are, you do have people out there that will follow you, you know what I'm saying? Follow you to the point of destruction you know and if if they lose that they feel like they have no more meaning in life after that they feel like life is meaningless now they can't step over that that obstacle and rise above it you know what i'm saying they can't look at it and be like you know you have some people that will change for the better. You have some people that just can't, they can't move past it. They can't see themselves in leadership positions to take that lead, to take what they learned from following that particular leader to become greater than them. Some people just can't do that. They just feel like they've lost their whole sense of motivation to move forward in life. So I totally understand where you're coming from. So kind words, stern rebukes, you know, it's tough. So it's like, I wanted someone to be near me. To be near me. And Guts hugs her and Griffith sees again. Griffith just, he just uh, keeps seeing all of this is like, I wonder what he's thinking. You know what I'm saying? Like he sees all of this stuff. It's like, I'm going back. I'm going to check on Griffith. Griffith, let's change those bandages. Someone. Near me, Requiem of the Wind. Okay, the Warriors of Twilight. That's beautiful, right there. That's that's a beautiful picture. Uh, that's a nice picture. That might be my thumbnail, but we'll see. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So Casca is changing the bandages, and she's saying, "I didn't know his hands were this small." He tried to grasp everything with these hands. Just by placing them on my shoulder, he could somehow ease my trembling. Time after time, they would erase my anxiety. Whoops. Huh? Okay, now it's my turn. To be the one to do that yet. She keeps changing the bandages. Uh, dressing his wounds. It's like, yo. What happened? Did he spill? I think he spilled something. So uh, is he trying to get up? He's like, sorry, I'll go get another blanket. Oh, she spilled something over on the blanket. He's on there. So he like 
gets up and threw himself at her. And he's like in between her legs. And she's like, Griffith, trying to stop Griffith. Stop. What is he trying to do? <laughs> what is this? Griffith is trying to get some, but but Casca ain't for that right now. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm saying he, I guess he still wants to feel like a man. I guess I don't know, or he just wants a hug. Who the hell knows? Um. Okay, man. So she hugs him, anyways. Man, oh man, this is turning into a real mess. Yeah, good dreams, bad dreams. It's still unfortunate to wake up in the middle of one. In the middle of one. So, Guts is there with you, you, you do. Like, so, what are you going to do now? Go back to training? So, um, he's talking to Guts. Guts says, uh, you? Is that? Judo says, let's see. Guess I'll invite who's left to start a thieves group. That way, at least we can look after Griffith. In that case, me too. Okay, so so Guts is like, okay, <gasps> whatever, man. Like, as we doing something for my friend, we I'm I'm all about it. So you've already separated yourself. There's no obligation for you to go that far. So, is there one for you? And Judo says there is. I'm still a hawk. But you're different. You've already started your own battle. Those who can't stand get left behind. Isn't that the ironclad rule of the battlefield? Otherwise, you can't survive. But that's that. Over there, you should take Casca with you this time. She's way too serious to lead thieves. Happy-go-lucky's the way of a thief. I couldn't stand one so stiff-shouldered. Take her with you, even if you have to drag her this time. If you don't, she... Uh, I don't know what he's trying to say. Or maybe she's... Maybe he's saying she's going to be really sad. You know, or... You know, she'll probably hate him, <laughs> you know, for leaving her again. Um, she says, you know, okay. So there's a captain, Captain Guts. What's up, guys? You need something? It's like, Captain, are you planning to run off alone again like before? It's like, if you do, please let us go with you, Captain. It's like, you guys, all of us Raiders have decided not one of us is against it. We can all still fight. That's right. We Raiders are the toughest in the band of the Hawk. We'll be mercenaries or whatever. As long as our captain's with us. Captain. Captain Guts. Please. Gaston. Your clothing shop. The proclamation is all over Winham. It's out of the question. Besides, these guys are like family to me now. I can't leave them. <laughs> Like, and as long as you're with us, we'll figure something out. I'm sure you'll find it here, the place where you belong. So, he's re so right there, we say, I'm, sh I'm sure you'll find it here. He's remembering when, um, like, what? this is way back when he just started with the Band of the Hawk, actually, when him and Judo was having that conversation. And Judo told him that, you know, I'm sure you'll find it here, the place where you belong. The place I belong, maybe it did exist. I was too stupid and stubborn to notice it, but what I really wished for back then was here. Back then. Why do I always see these things after they're done and gone? And Gaska is, I don't know what's going on with her. Is she crying? Probably. Like, hey, uh, G Guts is like, how's Griffith? Yeah, he just fell asleep. 
something wrong? Uh, like what? It's like n nothing really. She's crying. And he's like, hey, what's wrong? What happened? It's like, you're wrong. It's nothing. So you're crying over nothing? Did something happen with Griffith? And she says, no. Stop it. That's not it. It's like, hey, sorry, I, I can't go. I can't go with you. Why can't you go with him? Because of Griffith. Eh, like Griffith, he's so small now, so fragile. That proud Griffith is so... I can't leave him. There's no way I can gr leave Griffith like that. I'm sorry. S sorry. Me too. Um, I'll... Stay. I'm guessing that's what he was going to say. Stay. You won't hang from anyone's dream. You fight. You won't. You fight your own battles, right? Do you still remember that night at Primrose Hall? And he's like, yeah. Someone who would never depend upon another's dream. Someone who wouldn't be compelled by anyone, but would determine and pursue his own reason to live. And should anyone trample that dream, he would oppose him body and soul, even if the threat were me, myself. That is what I think a friend is. You have to go. If you're Griffith's friend and equal, you have to. Ugh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. I understand where she's where she's coming from with with explaining what a friend is. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, I get it, but, <sighs> bruh, I I just like for me, I'm always for I I love when when, but this is the dilemma. Of certain things when it comes on to life where it's just like why are you push are you pushing him away or are you not you get what I'm saying you should be telling him I get why she does like she don't want to leave I get it but in other words I also think she's conflicted I think she's conflicted I think she's conflicted between the two of them I think she loves gut guts with all her heart but i think she's still conflict conflicted with her feelings this is something that you, you know us as human beings go through all all the time where you're not really sure what you really want and i don't think she knows what she really want and guts is like even if it's alone and she says you have to go why do i always see these things after they're gone done and gone and this is a beautiful depiction right here i like what the author did what the the artist did here it's pretty cool a nice little representation of you know it's i don't want to see them split up again man because their their chemistry in in the story is so good you don't want to see them split up you know what i mean the Warriors of Twilight. Okay, next chapter. Even if it's alone, you have to go. Okay, who just stepped into the tent with Griffith? Who is this? Back alley boy. Why is Griffith... Is he having a dream? What do you fear in this place? Huh? Okay. Sticks the sword in the ground. Ah. So he tries to get up. So he's looking at his young self. Like, let's go. We're not done playing yet. The sun still hasn't gone down. He's, he's seeing himself as a young boy. Okay. Ah. Uh,
actually trying to run or trying to get up. He can't speak. They hear him screaming. He's making noise. They scream out, Griffith. It's like, no way. How? He shouldn't be able to do more than crawl on his own. He might have heard us. Anyway, I'll follow him. You tell Jado. The did he take off in the carrot? What the hell? Hold on a second. <laughs> I completely missed that. I completely he took off. I guess he said, "Ha ha!" The horses took off in the carriage, <laughs> and they, okay, they're gonna follow him. It's like, damn it, damn it, God damn it! <laughs> he took off, bruh. Griffin is out here trying to get away. He's like, yes, I rested a bit too long. I've got to go now. This playtime still hasn't ended. That back alley cobblestone path still goes on. So he's like, he's basically saying his dream. His, his dream, man. His dream. He hasn't fulfilled his dream. He got to keep going. You know, whether he's halluc hallucinating or not, I, I get what a, what they're trying to portray here. It's like, Griffith, Griffith, supper time. Oh, were you sleeping? I'm sorry, but I have to let some breeze in. Cause what? Is something on my face? Where am I? Daydreaming again? Was it about to pass? Dream. Oh, so that was... We don't get to see our old friends much these days. So he's dreaming um, of, because I'm guessing this is Casca before she cut her hair. I'm guess I don't know. I don't know. I am seeing that this is like something. It's either he's remembering or he's hallucinating about something. I don't know. We don't get to see our old friends much these days. I wonder what they're all doing. I wonder if he's still swinging his sword around somewhere. Okay, so he's kind of like having this kind of dream dream state of wondering what it would be like with Casca. Because this looks like Casca. I'm thinking this is Casca with her ear grown out. And they're thinking about guts you know when i think about it now everything that happened then seems like a dream and it make a good fairy tale for the boy hey now guts don't bully pippin wash your hands and come eat <laughs> so they have a son or right they have a son they call him guts it's like okay mom Okay, so a lot has happened. It's all memories now. I think I'm better suited to this lifestyle. So this is kind of like the future. It's like with you and the boy, just the three of us. That's true. This peace and quiet isn't so bad. And, <laughs> and then the behelot comes out of the spoon. And he's in the air flying as he like wrecked himself out of the... <laughs> the garage so bruh why why are they showing this bro like that's so gruesome to look at like look at his arms bro like ah uh, he's so thin oh my god it looks horrible man Nick he starts to laugh. <laughs> he starts to laugh. Is he going to kill himself? What are you doing? Oh my god. Is he trying to kill himself? He did. What the hell? He put a thing through his throat. What? No. It didn't go through. Oh, thank oh my god. It's... It's on the side, like to the side. I thought he went through, bro. This is crazy. You can't come to terms, man. <sighs> okay, so. He gets to the water. 
Do you get by the behelet? The behelet was in the water. How did it get there? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, Nasratu did tell him that it's going to find its way back to him. So he found back the behelet. That's crazy. So, so now we're in now new chapter. Okay. 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 We're moving right along. Okay. We're going to take a break here and come back for another part. Okay. New chapter. Let's do this. New chapter, baby. New chapter. It will return to your hand. Because that's how it is. So he's remembering that Nasratu did say that. So use it. Call them our guardian angels. So he remembers what Hellhound said. <laughs> Hellhound said it. So we have um So he finds the Behelet. Is he going to call them? I'm, I think, I think we're going. We 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 are at the turning point now, where I think Griffith is going to call on them. But does he know how? Okay, so the Griffith is like, was it me, the one who drove you? Was I the one who brought all this upon you? What should I do? The guts is kind of blaming himself right now. He's like, what should I do? What do you want of me? What can I do? Once I catch up to you. What then? What then? I'm still looking for him and um, the sound of dimming light. So, um, so I'm guessing that the it got cloudy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I mean they're kind of out of the sun or whatever if it's daytime. So if it starts just getting dark, because it says sound of dimming light. So what the so they don't know what's happening, but I'm guessing Griffith is calling upon the God hand or whatever. So that was careless. I never thought we'd overheard. We'd be overheard by him. This will just drive Griffith further into a corner. How thoughtless of me. There he is. Oh, hey, look. Right. So they look, he looks up and that's a solar eclipse. Could this be a solar eclipse is happening right now? Like just out of the blue. That's crazy. That is crazy. But anyway, solar eclipse. Could this be? Because the, the prophecy, if they would go back, you know what I'm saying? Like if they go back. Okay, so I don't know what's happening here. Like, is that blood running down his arm? Okay, so he has the hold the behelet in his hand as it, right? And Guts is crying out to him, Griffith. I think um, Guts remembers the prophecy. Because I think the, the prophecy said something about the eclipse. He falls back. And he says, stay away. What? He can talk? So he tell, he's telling Guts to stay away. Cries out. The eclipse happens. Or maybe he can see. What is all this? Are these all like demons or something? Or maybe he can see it, and he's telling Guts to stay away. Yeah. Look at all this. So he's like, who who are they? When did they? And they're like, pursuers, the Midland Army? And Guts, Guts is getting a tingly feeling. <laughs> he's like, I don't know. I don't know. But they're, they're dangerous. They're dangerous. So we have Griffith. And he's screaming out to Griffith, Griffith. And Griffith is saying, stay away. <laughs> he's thinking this. I don't think he's actually saying it. I think he's, I think his eyes 
I don't think he actually saying it. He's like, stay away. <laughs> stay away. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not actually saying it. He's like trying to use his eyes to tell him to stay away. Um. Okay, so Guts takes off and running it over there and is like, it is like, if you touch me now, if you put your hand on my shoulder now is what Griffith is thinking I'll never I'll never never again with you never again with you and Gr Griffith looks him in the eye and what happened okay the behelet opens one of the eyes Okay, this this Behila thing, it's so creepy, bro. What is happening? So there's, like, the Behila, like, exploded? Or it's giving off energy? It's The Behila obviously woke up. Opens eyes, mouth, a full face on the Behila right now. It looks like something is happening to Guts. And this is giving off some sort of energy. Bruh, oh, I swear to, I just got some the some serious goosebumps right there, man. Oh my god, that is ugly looking. Look at this, man. Oh, this artist really know how to creep you out, bro. Ah, oh, and are they are they all seeing this or is it just? Or is it just they're all seeing this, bro? They're all seeing this. My, I'm getting goose. This goosebumps all over me right now. Like my blood is, like running cold. <laughs> like in my, I can feel my blood running through my body. Like this is, oh my god, this is so creepy. It's like they've transferred to hell. What? End of a chapter. Let's get on. Whose booty is this? <laughs> The promised time. Okay, it's like, is this a flashback? Flashback? It's like, hey, you, hey. We're here at the border. Thank you for all your trouble. Will you be all right? It's like, hey, hold up a moment. Take this with you. It's medicine. Our troops' secret med remedy. It works on wounds, fevers, stomach aches anything i'm guessing this is judo it kind of looks like him you look like you're about to collapse any minute thank you very much troop leader sir for for everything really goodbye take care of yourself now what do you suppose was wrong with that boy he looked pale as death maybe something truly frightening happened to him it's like there he goes won't you see him off? See him off? You gotta be kidding. Who is this? Let's just figure it out. The second he saw me, he freaked out like he just seen a ghost or something. They exist sometimes, you know, especially in cities where folks won't believe in ghosts and whatnot. Or else maybe he got messed with too much by some of my buds. Hmm. I, guess, I bet he's a rich kid from some cozy place in Midland. Let's see. Perhaps we'll peek into the boy's f future. Hmm. What's this? And they're like, what's up? An evil omen. An incredible calamity is about to occur. The stars have gathered on that boy's path. A huge number of evil stars with a giant white star at their core as if they swirl about it. It's Kieto. No. Is it Rego? That giant white star is now being concealed by the moon's conjunction. There you go again, old lady. I don't get it. Say it a little simpler. I've never seen a star arrangement like this. An evil omen. A most terrible one. A sign of calamity that could enfold an entire country. No. 
the whole world. So conjunction is a new moon. So that's what he's referring to. The moon's conjunction. So new moon. Okay. Okay. The star that suddenly appears in the night sky and scares and scares people is called Kieto. Or Keito? Keito. The star that steals light from the sun or moon and causes an and causes an eclipse is called Rego. Okay, so along with other imaginary stars, they are ancient legends. Okay. Good to know. I don't really get it. If it's that bad, shouldn't we keep him from leaving? No, we mustn't. The boy has a large effect on this gathering. That he was here now is itself evidence of that. It's his fate. To interfere recklessly in, in one's fate is against my principles. No, it's possible to do such a thing in the first place. N no, it's, oh, it's impossible. Uh, no, it's impossible to do such a thing in the first place. Everyone is how they are, how they must be. All the more if that's, if it's something that involves the whole world. Okay, so I must say something about this because fate is something that in some ways I believe in it, but in other ways I don't believe in it. What is actually fate? And I think fate is is something that's very relative. And let me explain what I, what I mean when I say fate is relative. I don't think that somebody could tell you that you're going to, that, that, that's how you're going to be and that's how you're going to be. You get what I'm saying? I think we as human beings create our own fate. So that's why I said it's relative. Like nobody can look at you and say, oh, you're going to be a doctor because you might end up not being a doctor as a kid. You get what I'm saying? So um, some things I believe that some things I are fated to happen to you. That's why it happens to you you get you get what i'm saying but as i said i believe it's relative in 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 the whole sense of the word i believe it's relative to an individual it's not necessarily that whatever you know what i'm saying like somebody could just speak something over you and it happens i don't believe in that so i believe we create our own fate i believe by our actions by the thing the things that we do the decisions that we make we create fate you get what i'm saying so you should never let anyone tell you you know that you're this or you're that and, and you'll never be this or you'll never be that your job in this world is to create your own fate based on the decisions that you made now if you are there just making bad decision you are creating your own fate you get what i'm saying so you get what i'm saying so i do understand what they're trying to portray here but all in all, you know, if we're looking at it as a parallel to real life, I don't believe that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I do believe that if, if, if something is going to happen and you know, it's going to happen, you can change those circumstances based on your decisions. You get what I'm saying? So after all, what determines a good omen or bad omen is human reason. None are able to measure the ways of God. Okay, so Pisha, what's the point addressing that up? In other words, what will be, will be. Precisely. What will be, will be. So you, it, it's your decisions. Nobody knows the future, right? Nobody knows the future. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I might pick my nose in the next five minutes, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. You get what I'm saying? But if I if I knew if we knew the future, if we knew exactly what 10 years, 20 years down the line we're going to be, you get what I'm saying? We can prepare for that. If it's a bad thing, we can shift our focus and totally, absolutely um, not go that direction. You get what I'm trying to say? They are moments where history does repeat itself and you wonder why this happens 
and it's because people just keep making the same decisions if you if if the same decisions lead to the same results you get what i'm saying doing the same thing over and over again um and expecting a different result is a, is is the meaning of insi- insanity, right? So if you keep making the same decisions and that you've seen other people making those decisions, and you come up and be like, oh, I'm going to make that very decision and expect a different result. That's the definition of insanity. You get what I'm saying? That's the reason why when I mentor people, I tell them, I'm like, listen, you don't have to do it like how he did it. You don't have to do it like how he did it. You don't even have to do it how I did it. I'm telling you that what they did did not work. You get what I'm saying? It didn't work. It didn't work out for them. You get what I'm saying? So I'm telling you what do does work, but you can implement certain stuff and make it even better for yourself. You know what I mean? So so let's continue here. So hey, look, what's that? The sun is um what what what? So it's like I wasn't done. That you and that boy happen to cross cross paths here might also be the part of God's grand scheme. Okay, so an eclipse. It's ominous. I've got a bad feeling. Has something happened to everyone? I think this is somewhere else on the other side of town. Okay, so now that's something you don't see every day. Like a huge hole. Hey, I thought I told you not to land on people's heads, Puck. So Puck is back. So I'm guessing this is Puck's introduction into the story. Um, we've met him before. And I figure I don't know why they were trying to hide him for for, for a reveal. You know what I'm saying? Because we've already been introduced to this character from the beginning of the manga. So I don't know why they're hiding his face. They should have just showed him. I would have been like, oh, it's Puck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I thought it was going to be a different a different fairy. But it's the same, same Puck. So it's not like you're getting any balder. <laughs> you know, and he flies off of his head. Okay, so here comes Puck. Here comes Puck. So I'll bet some big god or devil or something is peeking through that hole. Okay. All right. So we get we get to see where Puck comes into the story. You know, because we know Guts doesn't meet Puck for a very long time from this, I would hope. Because I don't know how far down the line the begin, the, what happened in the beginning of the manga took place like we don't know i don't know so let's continue here so everybody's wondering what the hell is going on i mean i'm wondering what's going on everybody's saying what happened what's going on where what the hell you know i'm saying they're seeing all of these faces creepy ass faces and stuff and i think it's because griffith called a god hand you know what i'm saying so because it's like what is this where the hell are we? Hey, we're, we're, weren't we just riding through a meadow? Weren't we? Are we dreaming while we ride along or or else without noticing it? Did we did calm down, <laughs> calm down? How the hell am I supposed to calm down? And Kaska is like, shut up. <laughs> it's like, keep cool. Don't dwell on what you can't understand. Do what you can do. Everyone in a tight formation, no one strays. Now, I like what she just said. There's a lot of little gems being dropped in this. Um, you know what I'm saying? Don't dwell on what you can't understand. This is something that that I talk to people about so much when I see them trying to be, but I don't get it. But I, I'm like, stop dwelling on the things stop trying to understand things that you can't understand in in the moment all things will be made clear down the road if you dwell on what you can't understand so so much i'm talking about just like in life in general i'm not talking about like if you're in school trying to learn something because i know somebody might be might be thinking that that's not what i'm talking about in life in general if you do not understand something and it has nothing to do with how you go along in life and if it's you know what i'm saying like what's the sense you're going to be worried about it for 
Like, be honest with yourself. Why worry about it? You get what I'm saying? So, in a situation like this, where you, your atmosphere just changes, like, I can understand people who panic, and I can understand people who are going to stay strong and say, listen, man, you can't focus on that because right now, we could be attacked. We could be attacked. This is not new to us. We've seen demons. We've seen things that are that we never thought existed before. So this is just this is just another Tuesday. You get what I'm trying to say? So for Costco to be this calm, I can totally understand why she's telling everybody to keep their cool because you know what I'm saying? We've all been through this. We've seen monsters before. This is not anything out of the ordinary than what we've seen. It might be a bit overwhelming and creepy, but it's not that overboard of what we've seen. So everybody in a tight formation, no one strays. Guts, get Griffith on a horse. I know. Even in a situation like this, she's quite a woman. More than I thought. Can you stand Griffith? Still has to be healed. Is that that's really odd? Why is this here now? I'm sure he didn't have this when we rescued him. And what are those tears of blood? The shape's different too. That's right. At that instant when the world went weird. Did this do it? He's crying blood too. What the hell? Griffith? B big sis, look. Okay, so they're closing in. It's like, when did they... Who, who are they? Okay, the time of the great nocturnal festival. The time has come. The feast that happens once every 216 years. The eclipse. Eclipse? They come, they're coming, the advent, the advent of the four guardian angel, the sovereigns of the supreme beings. Okay. Wow. This is creepy on another level. <laughs> Whoa, bro, advent, bruh, she's just getting up titties and all, <laughs> you know? Titties and all, man. Damn, and she big. She got them titties, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Damn. Ooh, is this Medusa? What the hell? Damn, she grabbing her ass like the feather. What? What is going on right now, bruh? This artist is awesome <laughs> let's, let's just let's just get it out there man this is crazy and it's just beautiful what's happening right now she gets up she's like an angel with wings but this ain't no angel though <laughs> i don't that much look like one she gets up and of course turns into devil wings <laughs> The angel wings turn into devil wings. Wow. That's a beautiful drawing right there. I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to hold you up. You know what I'm saying? That's... this. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's evil as hell. Looks good though. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, what? Just now. Was that a giant? I don't know what it is, but they sure are coming out. I think it's the God Hand coming out, bruh. They just coming out everywhere. All right. Okay, so I'm kind of understanding why they're calling Griffith the fifth. Because I because there's only four now. Mm, there's only four now. So he's supposed to be the fifth. So they've come for him. It just clicked in my brain just now. <laughs> you know, when you get it, you get it, right? So he just comes out. Well, he's not big. He's small. But he there. Who's next? Who's next to rise? Okay, another fatty. 
Is that from one to the next? This is a dream. It's got to be. What no? <laughs> like, what now? That... Oh man, these introductions, this, this, in the anime, this should look so dope, because the introductions, the rising out of all these faces and stuff, it should be a, like a really good intro for these, for the god hand right here. You're the ugliest, for real, for real. I remember them though, I do remember these guys from the beginning, from the first time um, when they went there and Griffith and, and, um, and Guts was reunited. She tried to cover her titties, but it ain't working. <laughs> Gods. No, they're demons. I was <laughs> like, are they demons? And they're like, what's the deal? It's like at this great time of blessing. I bid thee welcome to this distant setting, this abstract time. Ye lambs of the ungodly God born of man, enjoy this sacred nocturnal festival to the fullest. The honorable child con consecrated by the laws of cash, the laws of causality. I've never heard that word. There's so many words that I've never heard before. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Causality? Who says that? <laughs> you know? The the hawk. Okay, so he's definitely talking about Griffith. Okay, so honorable child? Laws of causality? What's that supposed to mean? Thou art the chosen one. At this time, in this place, the one chosen by the hand of the great God. We heart kinsmen, O blessed king of longing. Kinsmen? Griffith? So he's basically saying that they're brothers already. <laughs> kinsmen, you know. So, no. Griffith is like, no way. He grabs his, his dagger. He's like, enough. Hey, you stupid crap. It's like, guts. Casca cries out. It's like, oh. This guy's like, oh. oh. <laughs> They're funny, bro. Um, first, you drag us into this godforsaken hole. Then you say whatever the hell you want. Consecrated child kinsman. Keep your stupid crap to yourself. <laughs> I've even seen this guy naked before. He ain't got so much as a tail growing. Don't lump him together with you freaks. <laughs> Guts is funny. They're like, Guts. So these, they just, they're just laughing. Laughing at what, at what Guts is saying. Such beautiful friendship. I am sure you will make for an excellent sacrifice. And they're like, sacrifice? Yes, a precious sacrifice so that he may become a demon <laughs> of course <laughs> okay so we're here we're here at the at the ceremony of griffith i didn't think it was gonna be this dramatic but <laughs> here we are but i'm glad that they're giving it some shine because we do need to know what happened what the process was you know a precious sacrifice so that he may become a demon Demon, a sacrifice? From the moment you took possession of that crimson behelith, you had the qualities to become a demon. No, perhaps I should say that because you had those qualities, it fell into your hands. Hmm. Uh, he, sw he switched it up. He switched it up. He's like, listen, man, the behelith found you because you already had the qualities of a demon so he's like that you use that you use the behelet to summon us is evidence that you are qualified to be our kinsman after all all the apostles gathered here 
use behelids to appear in their proper form. Okay. So, as he said, there's more than one behelid. So I'm pay I'm paying attention because I was saying they wouldn't have said they wouldn't have specifically said crimson behelid if there wasn't more than one. So confirmation that there's more than one behelid. So all of them, so there's at least another four out there. You know what I'm saying? Obtaining proper form. Okay. So you don't mean all of these are Furthermore, the behelet you hold is no ordinary behelet. Okay, so it's a different kind. Only one who can be reborn as one of us. Only one who can be reborn as one of us. The guardian angels of the God Hand receives it, the crimson behelet. So, okay, 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 okay. So, um, let's break it down. Let's break it down. So, now we know that... This crimson behelid only goes to the people that is in the God hand. Okay, okay. So, scratch what I said before. There's at least another four out there. There might be another. Four. There might not be another four. But we know that the crimson behelid only gravitates to the ones who become part of the God hand. So, it's special. The egg of the king. Okay. And the rest of you are invaluable sacrifices for the angel for the angelic advent. Sacrifices? We are Yep. I'm feeling sorry for the band of the hawk right now. You know, look it's not looking pretty for them. It is not looking pretty for the band of the hawk right now. Okay, next page. These demons are fiending. Ooh. Look at that tongue. Oh my. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> are you 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 would be surprised to know that there are human beings not shaped like this, but I have met people with really long tongues. Like I'm talking about like a tongue that could go under their chin. It's so freaky and weird. I don't know why they need such a long tongue in their head, but it's them, <laughs> you know, it's crazy. So, ah, there was but one word to describe it. Despair. Of course. I mean, everybody should be shitting their pants right now. I, I know the hell I would have pissed myself already. <laughs> you know. Okay, so one of these, you're going to turn Griffith into one of these monsters in exchange for our lives? Not quite. What will do that is his will. He will offer all of you as a sacrifice. What? That ain't possible. It ain't all lies within the currents of causality. Everything has been determined. All of your lies have been spun into this sacred point in time, the eclipse. The time is now at end. For us to perform, to perform the invocation of doom. Bring the child to the altar. What the? Bruh, they just gonna grab him from guts? Like, bruh, they knocking over everything. What in the world? Bruh, they ain't playing right now. Like, guts, Griffith, whoa. Like, they're turning over everything to get to Griffith, or they're building an altar or something. Like, he ain't letting go. Guts ain't letting go, bro. Oh, ah, damn, he had to let go, bro. They just grabbed him by the hand, like, oh, he grabbed him back. Okay. Look at this, bro. Ah. 
is this an indication of Griffith not he didn't want to do it you know he's hanging there Guts is trying to hold on oh wow that's uh, I want to praise I want to praise the drawing but at the same time I'm like yo Ah, it's beautiful, but at the same time, it's just like the despair I'm feeling right now. It's just like, even though I know this is going to happen, like, it's so crazy that you know this is going to happen, but you still don't want it to happen. It's just so awesome story writing, man. Awesome story writing. Okay, human host. Okay, we're at the castle now. Okay, so they all got to take a hand, a, a finger, I'm guessing, on the God hand. All right, so Guts, Griffith, Invocation of Doom. Invocation of Doom, the Invocation of Doom, they're all saying Invocation of Doom. And, Griff and Guts is out here trying to climb back to Griffith. Griffith! And he's like, are you afraid, one such as yourself, of extraordinary beings such as us, or perhaps of the future you will follow? Before we enter the future, let's return once to the foundation of your past. Then you shall know what it is you are. This is not an illusion. It is the reality within your conscious realm. Okay, materialize within this dimensional plane. So they're reminding him of something. Did everyone go home already? But we said we'd go see the castle today. Oh, well, I'll go alone. Is he remembering something from his childhood or they're showing him something from his childhood. Say what? That's funny. Am I lost? Hello, ma'am. Which way is the castle? He's like, thanks. They showed him the way. Ah, uh, yes, boy. Your friend said they'd wait for you there. He drives. He, he's like, it's pitch black. This is a weird place. I can't see anything. Hey, somebody. Whoa. Bruh, how? He just steps in a place, his pitch dark, didn't even know he was walking on dead bodies, bro. He's like frightened, he starts to run out. Ugh, that's gross. Ugh, it's like, what a noisy child, what on earth are you fussing about? Oh, oh, lady, it's terrible, they're dead. I knew that from the start. You knew? How could you? You knew and you lied to me? Was it a lie? This is the only road to the castle. There aren't any others. This is, I suppose, those who wish to reach the castle must trample over people who have fallen here. Man, they are dropping some gems in this chapter, in this volume here, boy. If you want to get to the top, Mm, you gotta you gotta walk over some dead people. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not even gonna hold you up on that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Otherwise, all that will happen is you will end up as one of them. Hey, man, crabs in a bucket. It's a lot of people like to downplay the whole crabs in a bucket thing. You know what I'm saying? Um. For me, it's not the best way to do things. Cause it's lonely. It, it's it it is lonely at the top by yourself. So I don't recommend that. But what I do recommend is when you get to the top to build people up, and that's what I do. Yes, you're gonna have to go through. You know, a lot of people who's trying to drag you back down. Also, people who are there and not doing anything, they're stagnant. So those are the dead people. 
you know, quote unquote, um, that you're going to have to step over and get to the top. You know what I'm saying? So I get it, man. So look, even your friend did. So you're, you're, are you going to go to that castle to become king? That's amazing. I want to become a knight. See this doll? Hey, take me along with you and I'll give you this. I really want to serve as a knight under you. Come on, I'll try real hard. Is that okay? No, no, it's not. Uh, why not? Forget it. I can't. I mean, you're, you're already dead. Why not? Take us along with you. We want to fight beside you. We're counting on your dream. We're sure we can fight to the castle if you're with us. Receive our swords. We wish to see the kingdom you'll build. Let us fight and serve your standard. So this is this this is kind of like a parallel between him and the band of the hawk because he's kind of like it's kind of like he led them to this. Did he knowingly do that? I don't think so. So it's kind of it, it's kind of like it, in my opinion and what I think. You guys can leave in the comment section what you believe this whole thing that they're showing him is is about but i think it's like they're they're kind of show kind of saying to him that listen the band of the hawk you were leading them to slaughter this whole time you just didn't know <laughs> you know what i mean so let us fight and serve your standard no i won't do it i can't take you with me because you're dead you're not alive anymore, so you'll never reach that castle. I can't take you with me. I just can't. Sorry. I'm sorry. My, my. What a child to say those things to ease so easily to his friends. You know what I'm saying? Because remember, he was elevating, basically, at the same time he was elevating the band of the hawk, but you know, in passing, you know, at times I felt like he was kind of leaving them behind, you know, at the same time. Yeah, they got the respect. He never really got the respect when he was rising in, in, in Midland and stuff like that. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, so what a child said easily to his friends. After all, aren't you the one who did this to all of them? Well, aren't you? You brought them all so far. If only you'd never said you were going there. None of this would have happened. No, I never forced anyone to come along. Well, what a thing to say. And that's what I'm trying to say. It's like a parallel for the band of the heart because it's like he never forced anybody to follow him. But they did because they, they wanted to follow his dream, kind of leading them to slaughter. You know what I'm saying? Unknowingly. So... Well, what a thing to say. Just whose help do you think allowed you to get this far? Again, dropping all these gems is a parallel for the band of the hawk. Listen, the road by which you've come was laid entirely by those boys' corpses. This is crazy. It's beautiful. Crazy, though. <laughs> that isn't all of it. You were able to come this far thanks also to the corpses. They added for you so many times over and now look if you want to go all the way to the castle you'll have to pile up many many more corpses what's wrong are you afraid now do you want to turn back you mustn't don't think that way if you do that this time you will become one of these corpses see look at your own arms and legs my arms, my legs, ah, you foolish child. If you're going to regret it, you shouldn't even have come here. This is not so nice a place. Why couldn't you have been g satisfied just gazing at the castle from the back alleys? Why not just gaze at the castle? I, I, I don't know why. Be quiet. You should have known. To come this far, you should have known what kind of place this was. I knew? Did I know what kind of place this was? Right, I did. I did know. 
I knew, and I walked. I walked on everyone's corpses to get here. Now of all times, what's with that? Ain't this part of the path to your dream? You believe that, don't you? So Guts comes out of the shadows. <laughs> It's like, what's with that? Now of all time? It's like, now pile him up. It's still not too late. We all know that they're like trying to portray this to, they're trying to bring it to Griffith in to ease in making the decision. You get what I'm saying? And they're disguising themselves. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they're presenting him with, a, with basically an illusion and making him think it's real. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, it's still not too late. Before you become one of them, pile up the corpses. There's nothing else you can do. And he's like, yes. What good is regretting it now? What can I say to the dead now? What good is repenting my sins now? I can't so much as apologize. This is the path I have traveled to get what I wanted. I can't apologize. No, I won't apologize. If I apologize, if I repent, everything will come to an end. I'll never get to reach that place. Yes, that is you. All right, we're going to take a pause here. Come back for another part to finish up the volume. I'll see you guys over there. All right, so we're at the end. You know what I'm saying? They're doing an, a wonderful job of convincing him to sacrifice his friends you know next chapter parting was that an illusion and it was like it was no illusion <laughs> it's the reality within your conscious realm eyeing the castle in the sky taking it by piling up courses endlessly that is you over thousands of your comrades corpses over those corpses with no identities, no names, you have trampled as you came with but one desire in mind. Over tens of thousands of corpses, they in turn amassed. And now, you back alley has been interrupted. Your back alley pay, is that pay? I'm pretty sure that's pay. Is, is it pay? No, it's not pay. It's... The back alley path has been interrupted. But behold, even as they shake with fear, they gaze up at you with clear eyes, the ones left to you at the end of your blood-soaked journey. Those would have flown with you the hawk's wings, the feathers, one by one. They should forgive you, even if they are now crushed by the spear. They should welcome you warmly. Then you can go on living. Commit your wounded self to them. Bury everything in exchange for the past. In the ruins of your dream. In the ruins of your dream. Ruins of my dream. That is the cruel grace of the God born of man. Even so, if you, if you still see it, if even now that castle is in your eyes more dazzling than anything, then pile it up. Take all you have left. Chant the, chant the words, I sacrifice in your heart. And you shall be granted raven black wings, upon which you shall soar in the heavens higher than any summit. If it be reason that destiny transcend human intellect and make playthings of children. And God screams out to him, Griffith, ah, playthings of children. It is cause and effect. That a child bear is evil and confront destiny. He gets back to the top. Griffith gets back up there. Like, yes. 
among thousands of comrades and tens of thousands of enemies, you are the only one. You are the only one who made me forget my dream. Sacrifice. Okay, did he sacrifice? Did he do it? I think he said it. Ah, oh, shit. They closed the fist. Guts is screaming out, Griffith. The threads bundled by the laws of causality have now been bound. The promised time has come. Damn, bro. Damn, you Casca getting hit? Everybody getting hit, bro. What? Uh, I guess that's how we got the brand. See the brand going. Hold on. All of them get the brand? Is this the brand for all of them? So all of them got it? What in the world? The feast. So they're, they start to eat everybody. Damn, bro. A massacre. A, a unilateral slaughter. It was a feast. Gluttonously devouring everything. The inhumans twisted feast. Damn, what is this? Is it real? Casca can't believe what's going on. Seeing his friends get eaten. Why? Why are we in this place? What has now been engraved upon your bodies is the brand of sacrifice. The lives of those engraved with the brand are our demonic offerings to the last drop of blood to the moment of agonizing death they become food for the new child of darkness just wait just wait griffith i'm coming to save you i'll get you out of there soon it's useless the strength of man will no longer prevail besides you are mistaken in thinking you will save him this is what he wanted it's like, shut up. You should have been able to hear it. What he definitely said last. Shut up. I'm telling you to shut up. There's no way. No way he'd do that. But he did, though. He did, though. He never, he'd never say something like that. In life unrelated to one's social standing or class is determined by man there are some people who by nature are keys that set the world in motion they are the true elite as dictated by the golden rule of the universe they obtain the power of gods and god still can't believe that he said it but he did you know what i'm saying i he wouldn't say for no other's sake to accomplish it for him, for himself, a dream. Is this, do you think that I'm cruel? Is this what you wanted? Guts is asking. Uh, man, sacrifice, sacrifice, they're coming for them. It has been determined. That's it. Everyone's beyond, beyond that hill. What is that? A whirlwind? No. What are they? Who's fighting? What? 
why is Nesferatu and why is he fighting with with this dude on a horse? What what the hell is going? Wait, bruh. What is going on here? This is the same kid that just got off the carriage that they gave the stuff to, but why are these two fighting? Ah, it's a mystery to find out next time on Berserk. <laughs> Anyways, guys, ah, that was that was beautiful. For those of you that are watching, <laughs> for those of you that are watching on Patreon before this drops, day after on YouTube, man, make sure you go back to YouTube check out the review. Of course, you guys continue to support the channel over there on YouTube, man. I know that we over here on Patreon getting stuff early, but I want you guys to support. If you want to see my review and leave your comments over there, that would be cool. So thank you guys so much. This was an awesome volume. And I'm, I'm like, uh, right now. <laughs> I'm like to the point where I, I don't even want to react to anything else today because like even though I knew this was going to happen, it's just so sad to see it actually happen. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'll be talking about that in the review, of course. So I'll see you guys next time for some more berserk. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so it happened. It happened, and I can't, I can't even sit here and tell y'all that, you know what I mean? That I, I did not enjoy the 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 um this volume because I did enjoy the volume, enjoy reading it, but every feeling that the author and the artist was trying to portray during this these chapters the the words of wisdom also that was dropped in there you know what i'm saying it's it's just awesome to read something like this of such great world be building and to show us what happened between guts and griffith and it's really no ill will because at first i was thinking there was something happened between the two of them but nothing really happened between the two of them it's just that they're two, they are two people, they became friends, and basically Griffith wanted something more than he, he, he cherished something more than he cherished the friendship with Guts, because you heard him say that you are the only one that made me forget about my dream, and when somebody is telling you that this is what you've always wanted, why did you forget? It's very hard to make that choice between friendship on one hand and a dream on the other. Um, it's kind of like the situation with Sasuke having to choose between Naruto and revenge. You get what I'm saying? Because if he doesn't go for revenge he feels like he'll not be avenging his parents death his entire clan you know i mean until he learned it, the truth about itachi of course and all of that good stuff but the sit when it comes on to it, it's like the same thing with with griffith you know he had a choice but he, he you know if he had chosen to not go with him you know Everybody going to die anyways, it seems, you know, so him making that choice and to turn them into sacrifices, uh, you know, it's, he's like, I'd rather do this. Cause I mean, what kind of life, even if they get out of that situation, what kind of life is Griffith going to lead? You know what I'm saying? So hold on a second because i'm seeing something here that i want to read so let's read this really quick here because i'm looking over on my other screen and i'm seeing this um so they say the band of the hawks rescue of the leader griffith has brought them no ease broken beyond healing a frail ghost of his former 
former glory, Griffith is now more more an object of pity than a man, and is, and the Hawks, who've grimly hung together under duress and death during his absence, are now on the verge of splintering to the winds. But Griffith's dreams and ambitions, built on the bodies of his troops, and the countless enemies they have slain, have not gone unnoticed in the spirit realm. And though Griffith has nowhere to go as a man, he may yet have a future. A future born on jet black winds in the company of the demon lords of the God Hand. So I dig that. That that's that's awesome. You know what I'm saying? That's awesome. Um, that they have that conclusion there at the end of the volume. And perfect description. Perfect description. You know, so I'm looking forward to to seeing more and more now of what this is going to turn out to be. We saw Puck coming back into the picture of how he got involved in the story. I don't know how long it's going to take for Guts and him to meet back up. Are we going to just jump back to where we were at the beginning before we have this huge, um, basically, flashback of seeing how they how Griffith and Guts met Casca and Guts relationship all of this good stuff also want to see how they get out of this because obviously Guts survive I don't know if anybody else survived this we know Guts survives this so I don't know what's going to take place the end of the volume where we saw Nesferatu fighting this dude I remember that guy because he had said I think he had said something about the eclipse too in a volume a earlier volume i don't remember which one it was but we i do i don't know who exactly he is fighting as in name but i've we've seen him before in a previous val volume right in that very horse of skull head stuff like that he doesn't have a face so we'll see how that turns out but in any case man this was so awesome to read through so what i'm looking forward to is to see um, to see where they're going to pick up, how they get out of it. Okay. So, um, the situation with that led to all of this, that led to the whole eclipse thing, you know, and this frightening despair, this frightening atmosphere that came over everybody. You know what I'm saying? It, it creeped me out to see all those faces, all around it was in the sky and on the ground it's like they were transferred to a different realm and that always happens when the behelith gets active and they always get transferred to the weirdest of places i remember the first time they were transferred to a realm a different dimension or whatever you know there were all these stairs and stuff like that the first time we saw the god hand the first time we saw um griffith interacting with guts you know what i'm saying what is the the purpose of the god hand that's what i want to know do they want to take over the natural earth realm because they obviously got power over the spirit realm are they fighting another force there's so much are they fighting against another force other than just trying, are they trying to influence as much people in the earthly realm and they just live in the spirit realm? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is, what is the purpose of the God Hand? That's what I want to know. We still don't know that yet. So, I'm definitely looking forward to finding out all of that stuff as we go along. Um, so, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, um, this was great. This was great. One of the best mangas I've ever read, if not the best. I'm not even going to lie. Story-wise, I think they're doing an excellent job just building up the story. Um, this reminds me of old school um, Naruto. Like in the first, the first, um, the, the um, part one of Naruto in the manga where they, they fleshed out so many things. Not so much in Shippuden. But in 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 um they fleshed out a lot. There's a lot to the story in Naruto that I really loved in the first part when he was just you know 12 years old. So I really dug it. But for this, oh my, 
Oh my man, the story building, I mean, we're 12 volumes in, call it around 120 chapters or so. Maybe, I don't know how much chapters we've actually read, but I'm, I'm doing it based on, you know what I'm saying, us doing about 10 chapters, um, 10 chapters per volume. So it's great, man. It's great. You know, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, I love it. I love it. I love it. Berserk. I'm so glad that I chose to do the manga instead of doing the anime first, which the anime is something that we are going to get to, you know. So, I mean, just just the the overall volume was just great. The way how the God Hand showed up was just great. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Would love to see that in the anime, their reveals. You know, we've met them before, but it was just so awesome how they just reveal themselves you know, like, um, so Eve and the, the girl one, absolutely amazing introduction, you know, tits and ass out. Couldn't be better. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in as always, man. I thank you guys so much because gratitude is never enough. I encourage you guys to understand and know that anyways, leave your comment in the comment section, leave a like, and as always, man, leave, um, leave subscribe if you knew because there's more to come on the channel with this berserk manga um also before we leave i am planning to start a new manga i'm not going to tell you guys what it is but i am planning to start a new manga picking up from where we left off in the anime um so look out for that very soon it's going to be on patreon before it hits youtube of course so just look out for that anyways thank you guys so much See you guys again next time. Peace.